Uncle Ted, your ice cream alchemist with ice cream every day, and this is chocolate orange ice cream. And you know, this is a very popular flavor around the holidays, especially in the United Kingdom. And I'm doing two different versions, I'll explain that here in a bit. But let's go ahead and get started. Now, this is going to have the usual suspects two cups of heavy cream, whipping cream, as well as one cup of the whole milk, and then three quarts cup of sugar and you know half a cup of non-fat dry milk. Now we're going to juice and zest six oranges and I get to use my zester which I dearly love. I love my new zester and I use it as much as I can. And then we're going to have a one four ounce bar of cocoa. Now I'm using the good stuff, 60% cocoa, and I'm also going to be using one quarter cup of dark chocolate cocoa powder as well as half a cup of cocoa powder and uh, we're going to use a tablespoon of vanilla as well as an eighth of a teaspoon of guar gum. You know I gotta say I wish I had bought this zester two years ago it would have saved me a lot of time and I really enjoy using it. Now I gotta be careful because you know, a couple times I took some skin off my knuckles and didn't feel so hot but I was able to get the zest off these six oranges and get the juice out. And this gives me a chance to explain what I mean by version 1 and version 2. In this version, I'm doing just the zest and the juice of the oranges. In version 2, I'm actually going to be using orange curd. And I'm going to show how to do that in another video. You guys have seen me make lemon curd. This is orange curd. Good stuff. And... Yeah. I think it's going to make a difference in the ice cream, but I wasn't sure, so I'm going to do two different versions and uh, just an experiment. You know, alchemy is just about doing experiments. Um, I might need to be getting a, a, a juice juicer here because, you know, squeezing... I got arthritis in my hands, so let, let's face it, after a while of squeezing oranges, you can really feel it. But I did manage to get a lot of juice out of these navel oranges. Now, the knife and cutting board that I'm using to cut up this chocolate was actually their Christmas presents, and so I was real happy. I wanted to use them in a video. Normally, I use my uh, chopper, my uh, cleaver, meat cleaver for chopping up chocolate, but it worked out pretty well for this at this time. Uh, because it's so cold, the chocolate was pretty hard, so it made a hell of a mess. But I want to get that chocolate chopped up for when I need it. And then uh, once uh, I get it all chopped up, I go ahead and get the dairy started. That's the two cups of heavy cream and the one cup of whole milk. And I'm just going to put that in my saucepan and get that going under low heat. Once it gets up to temperature, that's when I'm going to start adding my dry ingredients. Now, remember what I said, add it slowly and add it in parts because if you don't then it'll clump up and you'll get a hell of a mess and this has actually got a lot of dry ingredients with it so I had to be extra careful making sure to add it in stages so that I didn't end up making a huge mess. Now I start to add the dry cocoa. Now this cocoa powder and this dark cocoa powder once again I'm gonna have to add this in stages because if I don't then it will really clump up especially the cocoa powder. One thing to keep in mind is that dark cocoa powder doesn't have as much flavor as regular cocoa powder however it does have some flavor and it has a very particular dark flavor that I wanted plus let's face it the color was wonderful so I'm going to add that in stages and keep whisking no matter what. Now once I get it properly incorporated I'm going to turn the heat off and then I'm going to put in my dark chocolate bar that I chopped up. Uh, I don't need it to cook, I just need it to melt. So I'll, once the heat's up, I just turn the heat off, use the residual heat to uh, keep whisking and get that all melted and then we're good to go. Once we take it off the heat, we're going to go ahead and put it in our bowl and put a piece of plastic over to cover it. Remember what I said about making sure the plastic touches the surface so a skin doesn't form. And I want to give a shout out to a co-worker, Nick Roush. He's been a big help. And I told him I'd mention him, mention him in a video, so hey Nick. But yeah, just go ahead and put that in the refrigerator overnight. When you get done, bring it out. Usually I scrape off that top just to get everything off the plastic, but I'm doing all this one-handed so it looks a little awkward. 
but then we just go ahead and we add it into our, our ice cream maker I only fill up my ice cream maker bowl halfway because what's going to happen is as it freezes it's going to expand and some air is going to be incorporated and if you overload it it makes a huge mess you don't want that so I just try and fill it about halfway you know one of the problems with dark chocolate ice cream is that it's so dark it's hard to show in low light situations and so here I am with a camera in one hand and a light in the other trying to get a shot of what's going on inside the mixing bowl and it didn't come out so well but I wanted to show that you know this stuff when it's churning as it slowly starts to form up and freeze uh, you end up with some uh, really interesting textures and it's fun to watch now keep in mind that you're, it's not going to freeze hard you're going to end up with something about the consistency of soft serve ice cream and so you're still going to have to put this in the freezer to harden for a few hours at least before it's scoopable but what I'm doing right now is just kind of testing it seeing how it's going in sometimes I'll dip a spoon in not so much to taste it but I want to see how it's freezing and see what the consistency is because you can learn a lot by doing that once it's as frozen as it's going to get in the ice cream maker, I go ahead and pull it out and I put it in containers. This way I can uh, give it out to friends. And you know folks, this stuff came out very well. I love how smooth the orange was. It wasn't sharp or bitter. And you know, as I always say, if you're not eating ice cream for breakfast, what's the point of being an adult? And I just want to say thank you to everyone who has shared the links, who has taken time to make comments in the in the video comment section all that means a great deal to me and I really appreciate it I appreciate those of you who have come over from reddit or co-workers and things like that who have you know really taken the time to look in, into this so thank you so much and uh, you know if you have anything you want me to make let me know and I'll see about getting it made but stay tuned for version 2 because I'm curious about how that's going to turn out